Yeah, because this, if mm -hmm. everything will be on my own head, it will be for sure too much. Mm -hmm. There is no what um, there is no conservator in New York. There, there are basically three cons uh, conservators that, that have companies in New York, and uh, none of them have two hundred people to to work with. That's 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 why I'm saying this issue of scale. If it, w I would be surprised if the if the largest of them have 25 people. I would be surprised. But but can so, you, you understand yeah. where it's coming from? It was mm -hmm. a company with 14,000 employees. Right. Most of it. Yes, and and I understand that if that it fragmented and that it's not just simply a matter of you having 200 employees or 240 employees. You have this whole network of, of yeah. connections and and that. Uh, it's not simply isolated to Poland, you're working you, all over the place. You know, my role yeah. was very specific because, mm -hmm. however, I separated some fields in my activity. One is for development of the new activities, for example, develop the uh, paper conservation, develop mm -hmm. uh, conservation of paintings and so mm -hmm. on because it was abandoned. Uh, in the moment I was coming and it was one field to find the people to control them to do the right uh, things to see how they economically effective because I know that are able and skilled and talented to do the conservation but it is not enough in the real life they work as bring some economical results mm -hmm. because I have paid taxes I have to pay people I have to get the, the results of, of the work in the proper numbers second was uh, controlling what's going on in the branches in our firm mm -hmm. which are still operating every year doing different projects depending on the market what they offering is another and we were discussing how to uh, improve the system, how to exchange the information between different branches to provide colleagues with better tools, we can say, of mm -hmm. management. And the third very important subject was what to do with promotion of our activity. Because it is not only the matter that you have to do some uh, standard doings, you can say, for promotion. You have to think about different projects which will be absolutely fundamental and crucial f to show that we, however maybe not the best at the moment, we are able to do very good stuff, very good historical evidence, as, uh, objects of art and so on. And it was my personal attitude how organized, like for example the Silver Gate. Mm -hmm. In the regular terms, if somebody will come to, would come to our firm and ask, are you able to do this? No, we are not doing this. And I know, we are not doing this, but we are able. Mm -hmm. And it is my problem how to do it, mm -hmm. because we are able. Not because we are doing every day. Everyday life is a regular. My colleagues doing every life job. I was responsible for finding those extra tasks, mm -hmm. just to show that we are really not a standard firm, but a part of the normal life work, we have something exceptional projects, mm -hmm. and we happy with this. Such a project was with the Silver Gate. Such a project was with the manuscripts, archaeological manuscript from Egypt. Therefore, such a big projects are working in the positive positive way because in this moment we are much more recognized on the market. Mm -hmm by doing some exceptional, then do standard works. And because of this, we build up 
our presence on the market. The other, uh, the other day you said that uh, something to the effect that uh, the, the famous job is not necessarily the most profitable. Yes, of course. It, uh, the Silver Gate. Uh, it was not prof profitable, okay. for sure. But it was, it, but it was worth doing. Yeah, it was absolutely worth doing. Okay. It was worth doing, but yeah. you know, <laughs> a simple story was, for example, with those papyr uh, papyrus manuscripts from Egypt. Mm -hmm. We <coughs> entered to the project because my colleagues, archaeologists, say, "Oh, Marek, help us! You are conservator. You have some tools to do it." Mm -hmm. I say, okay. In this moment, I was not prepared. I was not employing any cons paper conservator. You're talking about this papyrus uh, mm -hmm. book? Yes. But in this moment, my colleague said, oh, yes, there is some girls, they are, they, those girls are able. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, girls, are you going to do this? Yes, we can do. Let's try. I will mm -hmm. help you. I will provide you with some resources and I expect that you will do the right job. Mm -hmm. And they did it. And they did it. And because of this, I got references, enabling us, our company, to get to the very big project of preservation of manuscripts of the Polish heritage from the Great Library. Mm. Because mm -hmm. we were recognized mm -hmm. as a professional here. Mm -hmm who is doing really important tasks. Not only hundreds of pages of books, like others doing, and they are able to, to do mm -hmm. uh, conservation of books quicker than others, but we are professionals mm -hmm. because we are touching such an important heritage. Because right. other, in other case, we are not working on the standard basis. Because standard conservators are many. Mm -hmm. But to do something exceptional, it is not only professional uh, approach, but also some attitudes, some idea that we are climbing not 100 mountains, but only one. The name is Mount Everest. Mm -hmm. It's okay. a difference. It's right. a difference. Mm -hmm. Video by Follett PCLS. Google us.